Right, this is my cat enjoying a bit of after, late afternoon sun. Say hi, Jazz. Jasmine? Yeah, say hello. Wow, wild and crazy on the beautiful patio. Uh, right, the solar collector. Looks, this is probably the worst angle, actually. That's uh, the garage roof. You can see the plywood base there. Um, you can't really see it very well, but plywood base, um, and it's supported from the roof by two lengths of uni strut, bolted to the top, bolted to the wall at the top, and standing on a fillet of wood at the bottom, which I think I might weigh down for the weather conditions. Um, it's at an angle of 52 degrees, roughly. Um, trigonometry it was okay. Um, angle of 52 degrees to the ground um, which is a couple of websites I've seen it's supposedly the recommended angle for a uh, for, for this latitude um, as I said earlier with 52 degrees north here in the, in, in the UK or my bit of the UK. Right okay let's go up the roof. Get heights. It's not too high. <laughs> um, drain cock. Both pipes run along the bottom of the cabinet. The flow and return run along the bottom of the cabinet, and I've got a drain cock on both ends if I need to drain it. On the top there, little air bleed screw. Um, so that's the fitting point. Uh, the box itself was um, plywood based, as I said, it was 12 mm plywood based on, on the uni struts. You can see the uni struts bolted to the wall there. Um, four inch sides, I think I took a little bit off them, uh, four inch timber sides, um, which I recessed for the glass and to lap over the edge of the plywood. Uh, then the, the whole thing on the outside I've trimmed with UPVC quite shoddily as you can see. Um, inside oops, basically one two panel radiators. Um, the first one I managed to scrounge, the second one unfortunately I had to buy. Um, the top one is 1.6 meters by 700 and the bottom one is um, 1.6 by 300. Uh, not quite sure, sure the square meter is not worked it out yet, but I'm uh, sure you can do that. Um, glass, which is fairly expensive. I paid £50 for, for glass. Um, that's 4 mil. Um, the guy did suggest laminated, but I actually got just plain float glass in the end because I thought perhaps it would be, you know, more efficient as far as terms of letting heat through then perhaps laminated, but I'm not really sure of my fingers on that, I'm guessing. Um, the radiators I've painted black. Uh, the flow, you probably can't see, comes up on this side because I have covered the edges um, in foil. Uh, there's 400mm of rock wall behind, squashed down behind the radiators. Um, and then to cover that, I'll lap that right up to the edges of the box to cover that, I've got some crinkly foil. I thought perhaps crinkly might bounce the heat round inside the box rather than bouncing it back, which I've spray painted black, matte black as other radiators. The returns, both on the bottom corners. Oops, there's that one there. Returns on that side, so we're going diagonally through the radiators. Um, so both the flows are picked up on this side. Held on with an earth clip. Um, you can see the metal pipe clip, um, uh, sorry, metal pipe clip there, it's the earth clip holding on to, onto the, the flow, the top of the flow, the high temperature sensor for the, for the collector. So that's wired back to the airing cupboard with a piece of three core flex, I think you only actually needed two cores. Um, the flow down to the bottom of the box, I've run that in copper. Um, 
painted it black where it's showing sort of thing. Uh, painted it, uh, that's running copper. Then we switched to, to speed fit UPVC. I'm sorry about this. Keeps hanging across there. And I've got coiled speed fit in one complete length. There's the flow and return. I've uh, got a trim off the foam obviously. Coiled uh, speed fit, 15mm going back to the airing cupboard uh, underneath the bathroom floor, which I won't show you my bathroom because it's hideous. Uh, and that's that, I think, pretty much. There's Jasmine again, how'd you go? Yeah, hello, baby. Right, we're going to go in the house now, have a look in the airing cupboard.